Hello everybody and thank you for joining me. This is Sierra from Sierra T Designs and today I have a card for you for the one lucky day hop and let's jump right in. So I am just going to show you here some of the papers that came in this beautiful kit. So this kit is the tailor-made cards for you one lucky day digital kit and I'm kind of just showing you which ones I chose to work with. There's loads in this kit. You can go and check it out. It's beautiful. I have a link down below for the uh, kit and I just kind of picked one of my backgrounds and I'm working on an A2 sized card. So I just ripped some of the corners off on this. Now this card is not in my usual style. Um, I tend towards very bright cards, um, but I love doing these hops because I love the challenge of working with different mediums or different uh, textures or different colors or anything like that. So bear with me while we go through this card. It went through a few stages where I got a little lost because I wasn't totally sure what I was doing, but I think it turned out quite pretty. So I brought in some white gesso just to kind of whitewash the corners there to make them blend in a little bit better. And then I also dry brushed uh, some of the uh, gesso onto there as well, just to add some texture into the background, which I just took a dry brush and just kind of painted it very uh, lightly across the background to just add a little bit of texture and a little bit of uh, differentiation between the, the greens there. Uh, because I usually struggle with white space, so or negative space, so I really kind of wanted to play with that a bit here. I also brought in some vintage photo in um, with a blender, and I just blended it along the sides of the card because I wanted to frame in uh, my images. So I'm kind of just adding a border around the card lightly. I'm also going to use the vintage photo around my images. I forgot to do it on the two pieces that I ripped off to start with, but I will do it on the other images as we go. So I originally thought I was going to use the big uh, leafy floral there, and I opted to use these kind of cherry blossom-like flowers. Now this isn't necessarily St. Patrick's Day themed, which is kind of what this kit's purpose is. However, <laughs> I love pink and brown together. So this kind of just came together for me and I have a tendency towards florals. I love them. If I see them, I have to use them. So <laughs> it's it's not really St. Patty's Day themed specifically, but I think that this kit is super versatile. So I think that if you wanted to pick it up, which you should because it's beautiful, um, you can do a lot of different things with it. So this is kind of just my take on what was uh, in that image, the, in those images. So I have my mini snips and I'm just going around and kind of fussy cutting around the flowers. I don't mind fussy cutting. I know some people don't enjoy it. I didn't find this difficult, however, so I kind of, this is what I opted to do. Uh, and this is a hop, so make sure you go and check out the next person in the hop. They will be linked and listed down in my description. And it'll be the first link there, and make sure you go give them some love. There's always some amazing creators in these hops, so make sure you go and check them out. There's also a giveaway as a part of this video hop so make sure that you go and check that out uh, you have one week from today February sorry March 2nd uh, you have one week till March 9th at 9 59 p.m. PST to enter you just have to leave a comment and one lucky person will be chosen to win a $15 prize so make sure that you uh, like and comment the videos jump along on the hop and check everybody out and leave them some love so here you can see that I did bring in my vintage photo and I'm kind of going around the color, uh, around the images that I fussy cut out. And then I kind of decided on this layout. I remembered that I had some puffy white alphabet stickers in my stash and I thought it, it just really was so pretty. They have this little gold detail on them and this isn't where I started going with this at all. Like I cut out a bunch of butterflies. I cut out uh, one big floral from the paper. I, I just, this is kind of where we ended up after playing with some ideas for a little while. And I love it. Um, it's not my general style. It's a little quite a, quite a bit different for me actually, but I love it. So this is where we went. So I am using some uh, Pink Fresh Studios Puffy Alpha stickers and I'm just gluing them down because I do find that I could lift them up. Like you see here, I lined everything up with my T-square ruler and then decided I didn't have enough room for my B because of course beautiful, uh, the E, the A, the U take up quite a bit of room whereas the T, the I, the F don't. So I ran out of space, even though I had centered my word. So I, you see that I'm lifting them up and I'm just shifting them down a little bit. I wanted a little bit more uh, space at the top. 
So I'm just shifting them down and then lining them up on my T-square ruler and putting little dabs of my Nouveau Deluxe glue on the back. And anytime that I feel like I get too much glue, I actually pounce it off on my glass mat. Um, or I use my reverse tweezers and kind of scrape it off beside it. I mean, this dries uh, matte and clear, so you don't really see it, but I was just kind of uh, trying to clean it up a little bit because this is a fairly simple... No, I say simple, but I mean it in the best way possible. Like, I don't do well with negative space, and I am in love with this card. I love how it turned out. I think it's so pretty. Um, it's just a bit, you know, simple. It's It's... It's appreciating what it is in its simplicity and beauty, and I think that it's just stunning. So I would love to know what you think of the card. If you'd leave me a comment down below and tell me your thoughts on this, um, I think it turned out really pretty. And you can't really see the gold detail in the letters. I will hold this up here in a minute so you can check them out, but you can't really see it here. But uh, it, it has this quite pretty little gold detail in there. And here is the kind of the moment of truth. I still wasn't 100% sure my B was going to fit, but everything was already stuck down. So here was kind of the praying that it would fit in there because if it wasn't, I was like, everybody's stuck down. So <laughs> if it doesn't fit, there's not much I can do. But luckily it fit just. So this actually worked out beautifully because it, it takes like the whole, uh, cross the card there. So that worked out really well. So I also brought in some, uh, this is just gold acrylic paint. Um, I use the Liquitex brand and I'm just going to splash it onto the background because there's gold on those letters, but no gold anywhere else. I really wanted to tie it in so that it kind of added like a kind of vintage feel. And then I did also splash on some really fine white splashes as well. So I'm going to hold this up for you right here so you can check it out. And I would love to know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed my card. This is my contribution to the hop. Make sure you check out whoever's next down on the comment or in the description below. And uh, please subscribe if you enjoyed this card. I have content. I have new videos every Monday. And then I take part in some pretty amazing hops with other creators. So thank you so much, guys. I will see you again soon. And bye-bye uh, for now.